Hey everyone, welcome to this Mega Man Arena 101. We're going to talk about how to play this game, some of the design philosophy behind it, as well as a, uh, an FAQ. We'll go over some of the questions that are being asked in forums. So, uh, first and foremost, this is designed to not just be a Mega Man, you know, throw some characters at each other, have some fun. I mean, it's really designed to be a fighting game. Um, you know, I have long been part of the Super Smash Brothers community, and one of the best things about a good fighting game is just how many options you have at any given time. Offensive options especially, as well as a couple defensive options. So we're going to go into some of those. As you can see here, the character select screen, I've got the music disabled, so we can, um, you know, not have to talk over music, but what we have is we have all the Mega Man 2 characters at first release. So yes, there will be more characters coming. We'll talk a little bit more about why Mega Man 2 characters were chosen. A lot of good reasons for that, but for now, um, don't worry, Mega, more characters will be coming. Okay, So we're going to pick uh, Mega Man and Metal Man for some demo here. And again, we have nine stages per page with three pages here. So basically, every character, like Air Man, for example, gets three different stages. Uh, every character really gets three other than Mega Man. He, uh, his block was replaced by Dr. Wily. So we've got some Dr. Wily stages that you probably saw in some of the demos there. Uh, for the sake of, again, a good demo, we're just going to pick a static stage, no hazards or um, no hazards or moving elements, just something we can kind of sit and talk. So, here we go. Okay, so this should feel a lot like a Nintendo Mega Man game, right? So we've got the jump, we've got the shoot. Uh, you know, again, it's not designed to be a Mega Man 2 shooting, you know, fighting game, so we do have charge, right? Characters who can charge can charge, characters who can slide, you hold down, you hit the jump button, you can slide, right? Now this game is not a two-button game like the old NES games, we actually have four buttons, so we do have a couple of uh, special buttons, right? So Mega Man's got a couple special attacks, we've got the uh, rush coil, and that you can see every time I summon rush we lose some energy at the top left, so special moves do consume energy. As you can also see that the way we get energy back is by just waiting. Our energy does just come back on its own. So if you find yourself depleted and you need more energy, just you know get out of dodge here. Just try to get away from the, the characters who are chasing you and restore a little bit of energy. Some characters rely more on energy than others. It's all part of the balancing mechanism. So uh, Mega Man's second ability, if you uh, saw the trailer you may have seen, involves stealing powers. So Mega Man will uh, steal somebody's power and be able to, you know, throw their <laughs> throw their weapons back at them. So we're we're not going to cover Mega Man in depth. In fact, we're we're going to cover each individual character in a little bit more detail. So watch for those videos to come out. Um, in the meantime, again, this this should feel like a Mega Man game. It is built on the Mega Engine. Um, mad props to um, Wrecking Programs for for making this engine. He used it to, to create the Mega Man Maker as well, so a lot of good things coming out of that engine. I really appreciate him him doing that. So, um, one thing you'll notice that feels a little different from the Mega Man games is the knockback. So, you know, again, we want a fast-paced fighting game, so we don't want people to be stuck in invulnerability cycles and knockback for full seconds at a time. Uh, that's been dropped to a half a second, so when I get hit, I, I really recover pretty fast. You know, walking at Metal Man here, I should be able to get a shot off pretty quickly. So you're not safe just because you hit somebody. And you know, I think that you know, hey, I can just sit here and keep shooting. Uh, bad idea because they have invulnerability and they're going to recover pretty quickly and throw shots back at me, right? So just something to you know think about. Keep on your toes. So that's it for Mega Man Arena 101. Be sure to check out the next video, 201. We're going to be covering advanced techniques such as wave dashing. Stay tuned.